Welcome to my channel. My name's Tan if you're new. In today's video, we have a unit that was sent over from samsbeauty.com. Today's unit comes from the brand Outre and it's from their Color Bomb collection. I got her in the style Kionda and in the color DRSD Sunfire Night. The cap construction is your standard cap construction with three combs in total. One in the back, the other two are at the front, and it also has adjustable straps. When it comes to the lace, you get a 5 inch deep parting space that's about a half inch wide. This unit does come with baby hairs and according to the stock card, it also says that it comes pre-plugged. Now I will say that this unit is pre-plugged in comparison to Iana, Iana, clearly I still don't know how to say that unit's name, but in comparison, this one is definitely pre-plugged. According to the stock card as well, this unit is said to be 26 inches long and can also take heat up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Now if you watch my review over Iana, Iana, however you pronounce that unit's name then you would know that I did not care for that unit too much even though both units are from Outre's color bomb series or collection I slightly have higher hopes for this unit and it's only for one reason but let's go ahead and install her and then we'll come back with my final thoughts about her and see if my thoughts are possibly correct <laughs> are you really gonna leave me outside Got your phone 20 minutes past 12 Ring, ring, no reply Don't see you much around here Overdose on the song, yeah Drinking NNC since 17 We got fucked up over here Say you don't listen to Green Day But it's 21 guns around here Yeah, do I drive Yeah, my little pony, she ride me Always invited, baby, you always invited Show you the bright lights Use them as night lights These street girls Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this unit from Outre. A lot of the things that I said regarding the other unit also stands for this unit, but I will say I like this one a lot more. When it comes to tangling and shedding, expect it. This is a synthetic, long, wavy, colored unit, so therefore, with that combination, it should always be expected that the unit is going to either tangle and or shed. Regardless of if you're someone who likes big hair or more tamed hair, I would recommend carrying a brush and or a wide tooth comb with. Speaking of big hair, brushes, and combs, the reason why I took a brush and comb to this unit is because I needed to distribute that dry shampoo through this unit unit evenly now I knew it was going to puff up the hair but I was like oh, I gotta do it <laughs> the reason why I went in with dry shampoo is because to me this unit was looking a little bit shiny like too shiny so I wanted to dull it down a little bit now with the combination of wanting to distribute the dry shampoo evenly and then running both a brush and a comb through this unit the unit obviously puffed up and low-key I was like oh I'm about to freak out I'm about to just trash this whole video but i was like no i'm gonna figure it out that's when my handy dandy a foaming lotion came into play and low-key saved the day that foaming lotion really kind of helped retain the unit and bring back its natural crimps or waves speaking of crimps i'm really feeling this whole situation right here like it's the color for me <laughs> This unit does come in multiple other colors and of course I'll pop it up here on the screen. I did go with the DRSD Sunfire Night and I'm really feeling it. It has like of course the dark roots on it but it then fades into like this, I don't want to call it a 1B, maybe a 2. It looks like a really dark chocolate brown to me and then it has this like well sunfire type of situation in the front keep in mind that not every unit is colored like this so with this particular unit of course it has the dark roots like i stated a second ago and then it has like the start of the show like right here but then the rest of the unit is a darker color some of the other units have the dark roots and then the start of the show part is throughout the entire unit I hope I'm making sense when I say this something I didn't mention earlier is that this unit is said to have transparent HD lace now no matter the lace type I feel like you're always gonna have to go in and tint the lace in some shape way or form I took my kiss lace tint spray and sprayed that on the inside of the cap but then when it came to the parting of this unit I did go on top with my foundation powder well not my 
my foundation powder my setting powder <laughs> I feel like by placing that in the parting space it just helped the parting a little bit another thing I felt that helped the parting space is me plucking it to me the original parting space was just like very very thin and it was screaming like wig a mile away so I don't know that's that's one thing that I would always say when it comes to the color bomb series or collection is to always make sure that you pluck your parting now when it came to the lace on the side of the unit I did go in with some black eyeshadow and put just a little bit down because this unit is technically sitting behind my hairline in my opinion this unit isn't big head friendly so in order for her to sit comfortably on my head I put her behind my hairline and I feel like it's working out in my favor <laughs> the texture of this unit is a very silky texture and as far as the density is concerned I would say she's very light she's not too light to where you can feel or see tracks in the back <laughs> We never want that but she's also not overly thick either to where it'd be too hot to wear during the spring or summer as i stated earlier this unit is 26 inches long and just for reference i am 5 7 so when all of the hair is pushed to the front it stops about right at my belly button but when it's all pushed to the back it stops right above my butt lastly let's go ahead and talk about the price of this unit on samsbeauty.com she does retail for 36 dollars 99 but if you plan on picking up one of the specialty colors, expect to pay about a $4 upcharge. In my opinion, she's definitely worth the $37 to $41. If you were trying to decide between this one and Iana or Iana, again, however you pronounce it, <laughs> I would definitely go with this one. But yeah, those are pretty much my thoughts and opinions regarding this unit. And if I think of any more, I'll make sure to leave them in the comment section below. You guys also feel free to leave your thoughts and opinions as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel before you leave. And also, make sure you click the bell. That way you're notified anytime that I upload a video. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. They're both at Tan Dotson. I'll be sure to have a direct link to this unit in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. I don't have anything else to say though, except for I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.